In this video, I'm going to show you the usage of access package from a power platform and SharePoint perspective. Now, I've already created a video called as access package. So basically access package is one of the feature set in identity governance in entire ID service. And basically it is used to assign access to roles of multiple resources that are in the catalog. So if you have a catalog and within that catalog, if you say that I have this couple of SharePoint site and one Microsoft 365 group, now go ahead and assign permission to your power platform model driven application, then access package should work. Now I'm going to demonstrate that. Now I'm assuming that you know how uh, the access packages work so uh, so first to set the stage uh, I have a couple of sites over here so this is a site called as say nor uh, Finland sorry so this is a site called as Finland is the simple SharePoint site and there is a site called as Norway now as you see over here it has two members in it Kirish and Alex so there's no Adele in it and Finland it's just owned by me okay and I have one model driven app called as minerals. Okay, so this is not granted permission to Adele. Now just to show you, uh, uh, I'll log in as Adele. So I'm logged in as Adele over here. Now what I'm gonna do, uh, uh, this is Adele's logged in. Uh, so let me go into Norway site. So I'm going to Adele and open the Norway site. Now, the moment I open it, uh, it should, uh, throw me an error it says you need permission to access to the site now similarly i'll go to finland site and i'll just type in in adel's login and again adel do not have access to that site similarly and another example minerals so if i just copy this minerals url this is a simple model driven app i'll go to adel's site and adel's login and then uh, I can see that you do not have permission to access this record. Okay, so how do we grant permission? Now, what we can do, we can go to SharePoint site individually and then assign permission to Adel. We can go into model driven app and assign permission to Adel, but we are not going to do that, but we are going to use something called as an access package. So let me go into the access package over here. Now, before we go into the access package, uh, we need to do some special treatment to for model driven app. Now. I, I, what I'm going to do, I will be going into say portal.azure.com. You can go into any other uh, uh, application to create a group, but I'm going to use this. So I'm, I'm going to create a new group called as mineral group. Okay. Now this is a Microsoft 365 group. So I'll call it as mineral group. Okay. And then in this group, uh, I, I can put a description, but I'm not going to do any specific thing. I'll say it can uh intra roles can be assigned to this group uh owner is myself so i'm just creating a simple group okay so this is a microsoft 365 group now this mineral group i'm going to go into uh power platform admin center and uh, i'm going to the environment whereby uh, i have this uh mineral application listed so i'll go into the settings and then from here user permission i'll go into the teams now i'm going to create a team which is linked to that mineral group okay so i'll just call it as mineral team linked m365 group okay so this is linked to that m365 group i'll copy this team and i'll select the business unit uh, i'll select the name girish uh, and then i'll select microsoft enter id office group okay because the group which we have created and let's find the group which we have just created called as mineral group members and guests all good click on next and here i will assign the permission okay now the permission i will be either give grant system administrator or system customizer uh, or maybe uh, i've just created a mineral role okay which just give access to that mineral table in the back end okay so this is a simple setting i've done now remember this group or the team which i have created over here it is named as mineral team linked m365 group the group microsoft 365 group which we have created it is called as mineral group okay so but those are linked now okay now okay let's go into uh, creating an access package okay so how do we use access package to assign a uh, set of permission for SharePoint or Power Platform applications. So here, uh, if we go to enter ID, go into identity governance. Now here you select under entitlement management, click on access package. I'll create a new access package and I'll call this as uh, mineral access 
package okay so take for example you have a company and you have you're doing something related to mineral and you have created this access package and you want to grant it to permission permission to a different set of users now here you need to create a catalog first okay now here uh, i haven't i i will not save this mineral access package but i will first create a new catalog okay so i'll create a new catalog and i'll call this as mineral catalog now catalog contains a set of resources in it so it is enabled it is enabled for external users no uh, and that's it so this is a catalog which i have created and i'll say link this to mineral catalog now next resource roles i need to add a group and team okay now if i click on group and team i don't see anything over here now why because we have just created a catalog so for time being, what we can do is we can just click on next and we can just click on next, click on next. And uh, I'll say user can request specific timelines and require access review, next rules, next review and create and I'll click on create. It is not allowing us to move forward because it has says request. You need to select for users in your directory. Yes, specific users and group uh, or um, I'll say, okay, specific users and group I can manually add users and group now here i will say in this particular package i want to add edel okay and i'll select select here that require approval no require justific enable new request no so i don't want any other thing i'll click on next life cycle access package assignment expiry after number of days 365 user can request specific time and i'll say no require access review no click on next rule next review create okay uh, and then it says please fix the errors on this page before continuing uh, so i need to specify a resource okay uh, so so here i'm not able to proceed because uh, it is giving me this error i'll just move next 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 review create this please fix the error i'll say from a i'll just again go back i'll say it is linked to mineral catalog go into the resource rule now i'm not able to select any of the group so first step what i would request you to first create a catalog rather than creating an access package okay so again going back to identity governance instead of going into access package you need to first create a catalog now we have already created a catalog mineral catalog now in mineral catalog if i go inside i'll click on uh, i can add resources to it so resources add resources now from here groups and teams the site which we are thinking about is Norway and Finland. So let me add uh, Norway and Finland. But here uh, we are talking about groups. Now the group uh, which I want to be add, added for this resource is mineral group. Okay, so I added one resource of group, which is mineral group. I will add a SharePoint site and the SharePoint site is Norway. And I will add Finland. So Norway and Finland is selected. I'll click on select. So I have three things, Norway, Finland, mineral group. Okay. Now I'll just add and this mineral catalog has these three resources. Now let's go to the access package. Okay. And there is no access package linked to it. So I'm going to create a new access package and I'll call this as mineral access package now why i showed you that first step by creating access package is because i also encountered that same thing because if you do not have a catalog component or a child component within an access package you will end up in that error okay so instead of that first create a catalog add resources to the catalog and then create an access package and then link it to that catalog click on resource roles now from here you can say what groups and teams you want yes you have this mineral group you select this you share point site these are the couple of things which you add select and those particular site will be added over here so if you go to groups and teams you have this mineral group uh, for share point site you have this so groups and teams again going to mineral group click on select and you have this added click on next request for users in your directory now you who you want this access package to be delivered to as a specific user and group you can add a group as well but this time i'm just going to add adel to it okay so i'm adding adel require approval no enable new request no next request information i don't want to add anything life cycle 
user can request specific timeline no require access review no click next rules custom extension review create and create let me go into the role now as you see over here you have added the resources to this access package but you need to specify which role okay so for finland site i will grant member access for norway again i can grant members access from a middle group i'll say just a member click on next again next 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 create now it will start creating that access package so what we have done we have so just to start with we have done so many things over here first we have created a catalog catalog will have a whole bunch of resources it can have 15 sharepoint sites 10 groups okay but we picked specific sharepoint site and specific group and added into a mineral access package and we have said that mineral access package is now granted to edel okay now from a policies perspective over here you see that there is something called as initial policy for this mineral access package now this is an important setting okay so remember that this particular initial policy needs to be enabled or you can enable from here you just enable this and now this access package policy is getting updated okay i'll just click on refresh now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to edel okay now again from a mineral site perspective if i just refresh nothing is happening finland site again i'll just copy the site nothing is happening because we have created an access package we have added edel to it we have added permissions everything is there but still edel is not able to access now what edel need to do is you need edel need to go to my access dot microsoft dot com now edel as a user for an organization if edel is newly joined or edel already exists within the organization since long but then this access package has been delivered new edel needs to go into the access package and she can find this access package okay now depending on your requirement you will request this access package and you just click on continue business justification i'll just say uh, for a project click on submit request and what we have done is like we just said that this is being processed automatically uh, there's no manual intervention the moment you request for it you should be able to get access to it so we'll wait for some time and uh, based on this request history i can see it is still getting delivering status is delivering so we'll just go back to approvals and click on request history and it says it is delivered now okay now let's go into this application or the sharepoint site and now if you see if you hit norway you are able to access the sharepoint site successfully now we haven't done any manual intervention we have just granted access package and through access package the permission for the sharepoint site is delivered so if i search type in finland i'm able to access that now what's happening from a uh, model driven app perspective now from a model driven app perspective if i just type in i am not able to see anything right sharepoint is working perfectly fine i'll just close this too i'll show you sharepoint is working perfectly fine uh, I have even received an email. It says you now have access. You have received access to mineral access package. Uh, get started. You just click on that. But if you see over here in mineral access package, so access package, which is mineral access package, it has Norway, Finland, and it has a mineral group as well. Now, mineral group which we have created, we have created that mineral group in uh, Microsoft Azure. So let's see what's happening over there. So enter ID groups you have created a group called as mineral group and this mineral group remember at the start what we did we have created a team team name is mineral team linked m365 group if i click on edit team this team is linked to the mineral group over here right so this is linked to the microsoft 365 group still edel is not able to access it now if you go into this mineral m365 group you need to see team member as Edel over here, but I don't see Edel over here listed, right? So what you need to do, if you log into as Edel, just do a sign out, okay? 
and again copy that mineral application link over here so i'll just copy this link go back to adel and adel is signed out i'll click on adel and adel is signing in again let's just say yes and now if you see Adele can access the model driven app application. So this is how you basically use an access package to configure permissions for a model driven app, which is part of Power Platform uh, Power Apps. Now, as you see over here, uh, like we have granted this group, uh, this team basically, uh, Adele's name. Now, when I clicked on manage team members, I didn't see Adele's name despite delivering the access package but now if i click on manage team members over here i can see adel's name over here right now why because this is important users from the security group will show up here only after they have logged into the environment at least once so if adel is already logged into the system before the access package is delivered she will not be able to see that she has to log in at least once so that's the gotcha so if you do that then all good so just to summarize what we have done is we have demonstrated access package creation okay so access package we have created access package so i'm just going to show you what we did so we have created under identity governance we have created a catalog catalog had uh an item so called as mineral catalog and it has uh one group and team and it has got two sharepoint online sites so if you want to see the resources you will see over here now mineral catalog is basically linked to an access package named as mineral access package we explicitly said mineral access package will be given to a specific user assignment now from an assignment perspective we have assigned it to edel now what Adele did, Adele went to myaccess.microsoft.com, went into access package and requested that package. Adele has got uh, a email that says you have received access to mineral access package. And on the virtue of receiving the mineral access package, Adele has now been granted access to the SharePoint site and also to the model driven app. So this is how you basically use an access package to automatically deliver permission to uh resources belonging to the teams belonging to microsoft 365 uh, or microsoft 365 sharepoint site and uh teams and groups so that's it folks this is how you use access package for different applications thanks for watching